Hey. What's going on, Brit? How you doing, babe? Good, good. good to see you. It's always good to see you. Um, thought you would have pulled the new whip around so we could go for a ride. Where is it? Sit down. Okay. So look, I'm just gonna be honest with you, Brit. Okay. I didn't get the car. I thought you were getting the car. What happened? I honestly had zero desire in getting that vehicle. And I, as I, no, no, let me tell you, let me tell you. When okay. I was about to sign the papers, I just thought about it. And I was like, who am I getting this car for? And it wasn't me. Well, who are you getting it for? You, Britt. <laughs> like literally, it felt like I can't do anything right with you. Like you take me to a place, trying to fix the way I dress. You take me to a car dealership, trying to push a $150,000 car on me. For what? That's not me. That's not who I am. Dalen, I'm sorry to tell you, but you could, you are an amazing man, but you could step up the clothes and you could get a better vehicle. Well, for one thing, your vehicle's not safe to and drive in. And that's fair, that's fair. I can understand upgrading my life, but overextending myself for what? Why would I put myself in a financial position just to please other people? Like Who's I got my the other people. You and whoever's in your life that you feel like I'm not good enough for. Dylan, I didn't say you weren't good enough. I simply want a man who has a nice car. That doesn't mean that does not mean that you can't do other things. That Why just... do you care so much about liabilities? That's how I know we're not on the same page. Like I'm concerned about my future my children, my future wife, generational wealth. Like I'm about stacking money. I don't care about spending it right now. Okay. I hear you, Daylon. Do but you? Yeah, I do hear you. And I, I'm focused on children and building too. I'm just used to someone who can do both, who can build, who has their investments, who also okay. can drive something nice. Okay. And that's just what I want. That's not a demerit to who you are. Yeah, and that's fair. And I also think, Daylon, you're amazing. I'm not trying to change you. I'm just trying to get you to your highest level. I understand. I understand loud and clear. Well, maybe I'm not the person for you, Britt. Since you're so used to people that can do this and that for you, and apparently I haven't done either. Okay. You know what, Dalen? Um, I, I really do care about you. And I was really happy to be working with you, to making things, to make things work. But now you're saying this, and I'm just gonna say that if what I'm asking you to do is too much for you, then you're right. We're probably not right for each other. And it's no hard feelings, but I don't feel like I need to be with somebody who I'm not aligned with. And so I guess we're not on the same page, but you know what, Dylan? It's, um, it's been good seeing you. <laughs> I bet it has, Britt. It has. So, I guess I'll see you around. Well, all right. And for the record, I was really trying to get you to your high school. Okay. <laughs> to my high self. <laughs>